Welcome to our exploration of memory management in Julia. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question about how Julia handles the stack allocation of isbits types. Our viewer is curious about the differences between inlined and reference storage for objects and the rationale behind Julia's unique approach to memory management. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's begin by understanding how Julia handles memory allocation for types. In Julia, types can be stored in two ways, inlined or referenced. When a type is inlined, it means that the variables are stored directly in memory. For example, if we have a type called foo, the fields A and B are stored sequentially in memory. On the other hand, when a type is referenced, it means that the variable contains a pointer to the actual data. This is crucial for mutable types, which are always stored by reference. Julia's decision on whether to inline or reference a type is based on its mutability. Mutable types are always referenced, while immutable types are referenced if they contain any fields that are also referenced. This design helps the garbage collector manage memory effectively. If pointers to heap allocated objects were stored on the stack, it could complicate memory management and lead to premature garbage collection. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When discussing stack allocation of EaseBits types in Julia, there are several key concepts to understand. First, mutable or non-pointer-free immutable types don't always mean heap allocation. Optimizations can help reduce unnecessary allocations. Second, the object layout ABI is crucial. Currently, only EaseBits immutable types are stored inline and stack allocated. This is due to the need to manage recursive types, which complicates inlining. Third, while inline storage can improve performance, it also leads to more copying, which can affect performance negatively. It's a balancing act. Lastly, GC support is essential for recognizing pointers on the stack. Currently, we have a simple stack layout for object references, which needs improvement. And that's it. I hope you found the solution that you're looking for. If you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.